Welcome to Techie Bytes, where we teach you how to use Windows Office programs. Today we're going to do a tutorial on the Excel DMAX function. So what does DMAX do? Well, it gives you the largest number in the field column specified that matches the criterion that you specify. So to start, we've got to make a database and a criterion table. As you can see, we've already made a database of people and a criterion table with only one condition, that the gender is F. Now we get to writing the formula. You can do this by either typing in the formula or by clicking the formula tab and opening the DMAX function. So let's go with the first one. As with any formula, we start with the equal sign, and then we type the function, DMAX. Now we open our parentheses. As with all of the database functions, the syntax goes database, then field, then criteria. So first we select the entire database, starting with the column heads, and put in a comma. Then, for our field, we choose one of the column heads in the database. For this example, we're going to choose age. So click on the age column head. Finally, we need to select our criterion. So select the entire criterion table, starting with the column heads. Now we close our parentheses and press enter, and we get the answer as 14. So the highest age for females is 14. Similarly, we can do this with the functions dialog box. To open this, click on the formula tab and select the dmax function. Now, select the database, field, and criterion as the same as before. Click OK and you'll get the same answer as before, 14. So as you can see, this function is pretty useful for quickly finding the maximum value of a particular column when you have to filter the database with a certain condition. In our case, the condition was that the gender was female. Don't forget to subscribe to Techie Bytes.